F minus. F minus today's horrible performance for the Bengals. Horrible failure across the board from every possible angle. The team got smoked last week, blew it against a horrible crap Jets team. Now we come at home playing that little. I respect the fact he overcame Down syndrome. That is respectable. But Baker Mayfield is a, a scrub quarterback, but he owns us. He owns the Bengals. So does Nick Chubb. We cannot stop them. They out coach us, out execute us. We have penalties, play like total garbage. F minus, you know, and uh, Joe Burrow's going to have to sit down, him and Jamar, and the offense and figure out what's going on. Is, is he forcing things to Jamar? You know, that pick six was horrible. I'm going to look at the film this week and see what's going on. Is he the only option? You know, because are we throwing high-risk passes just to keep, you know, because Jamar and Burrow are tight. Are there other guys open that we're overlooking? Defensively, it's like the Jets exposed us. We're giving up huge plays, horrible against the run. Uh, they just dominated us. Cleveland Browns own us. They're our daddies at this point. And it's uh, pathetic. Now it's going to be, so we lost to the Jets, lost to the Browns. Now a bye week. So it's going to be a month until we have the possibility of a victory. Now we're out of the playoffs right now. We went from number one seed. I think we're out of the playoffs. I saw Baltimore was losing 24 to 10. Did they panic and have a meltdown and fumbles and turnovers and, and penalties and giving up? You know, we make Baker Mayfield look like Tom Brady out there, and it's just sickening. Donovan Peoples-Jones. I am I cannot believe that the Browns just whipped our asses at home where we can't win. We got no home field advantage. There is no jungle right now. There's no jungle. There's no We have no home field advantage whatsoever. Uh, we just, we Bengals have to take a deep look. At what they're doing. And, you know, I was thinking that they were getting close. I was even talking Super Bowl talk. Hopefully we can fight. Hopefully we can get a wild card and get a, a, a one playoff victory this year. You know, obviously I'm hoping for a Super Bowl win. But I'm going to have to pump the brakes on that. And just hope we can make the playoffs at all. This is a total collapse. The team, you know, take a week off and get back to work next Monday. Because this is garbage. Garbage performance. F minus sucky crap week, two weeks in a row have sucked. So time to dig deep, bagels. Get, no, hey, Zach Taylor, no bye week for you, boy. You go get in that office, start figuring out what's going on, you know. It looks like I praised you and Lou too quick. These guys were not ready to play. And, you know, Burrow, you got to be more careful with the ball, especially around the goal line. So let's get... Back to whatever we do right in the defense, man. You guys have got to refocus your energies. And uh, Lou, you got to come up with some better schemes. But if we play as Cleveland Browns again in the playoffs, we're, we're going to get smoked, man. They're just going to ground and pound us to death uh, with that old line of theirs. So today sucked again. Two sucky weeks in a row. But at least the good news is we have won five games. We're five and four at the break. We got, what, jeez, oh, nine games to go. Is that right? No, not nine games. What do we got? Nine games now. So we got eight games to go. That's a, a million games. But things got to change. The team has got to get more. They have to be more consistent on offense. They have to be careful with the ball. And the tackling has to improve. And the team has to get their heads out of their arses. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. What are you going to do? Protect Joe.